So I'm here with Team Hooked on Baits. We're at a very cold and windy Cottonton Lake in Kent. Um, I'm here with this man, Dan Taylor. He's going to tell us about some of the products today and what he's been using recently. Yeah, well, uh, especially for me, the R9 out of the range is one of my favourites, especially in the autumn time leading up to winter. Obviously, with all the different food, food items and bits of particle like the crush maize, the red diary, the hemp and the blood worm. It's all nice and small items as well, so when you're feeding, there's plenty for them to lot of grub around and have a, you know keep your spot over a long period of time and obviously the bird life where it's quite a dark mix which I prefer you know you get less less nuisance and then picking up your baits which is which is an ideal for me you know and how are you using the R9 today well for me today obviously because it's really cold and windy and wet you know there's not a lot happening there's not many been many bites so for me it's just tiny little bags obviously with it being PVA friendly you can just nick them onto the hook and just literally cast them out as they are you know so I'm just fishing a couple of small bags around each rod just to nick, nick one bite at a time, but there's plenty enough attraction in a small parcel for hopefully any passing fish to hopefully, hopefully get a bite. Lovely, mate. Uh, thunder is coming and it's just started raining, so what I think we'll do is we'll grab the cameras, we'll go uh, get some of this R9 and have a close up look at it. Right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to have a look through the R9 itself now, the actual product that I've been using, especially like this autumn and into this session as well. And as you can see, there's plenty of lots of nice little particles in there which I prefer, you know, especially like a bit of a small darker mix, you know, plenty for them to keep on obviously rooting around with. You've got hemp in there, you've got uh, some crushed maize, you've got real bits of bloodworm as well. And um, as you can see, you know, there's there's plenty of food items in there. You've got a nice little hint of red in there with a the crushed maize and some nice split hemp. And it's obviously, even on my hand there, you can see how much there is in just a little, little small handful. So obviously the PVA bags that I've been using this session when it's been cold, even though they've been quite small, you know, you get enough uh, food signal and food items around the hook bait, obviously to get a bite even in the colder weather like we've had on this session. And also what I like to use is the uh, bloodworm glug as well from Hooked on Baits. Obviously as well as the particles, it's 100% PVA friendly. Nice red color, dark color. And there's actual real bloodworm in here as well. So obviously, it, fits the R9 nice and perfect <clears throat> and as you can see especially if you get a nice handful and just by pouring that on there as well you can see itself like the real blood worm coming out of there and obviously that gives it just extra flat flavour and attractions and obviously there's a few extra additives as well in the glug which makes it very appealing when it comes to actually fishing itself and um, it's really nice and thick as well, so it sticks to the bait. So as soon as you cast it out and it hits the water, you haven't got to worry about it dis dispersing and going everywhere. You know, it really sinks to the bottom and then obviously draws up. So any fish that are passing, it thought, you know, it, it, it sort of stops them in their tracks as well. And I find it works perfectly with the R9 as well as the other particles as well. So it's always worth having a couple of bottles in your van and it, it just suits the bait ideal, you know. Like I say, I like the consistency as well. You know, it's not very thin. Even on my, art, even on my hand there, look, you can see there's real bits of blood worm that are coming out of it as well. So, um, you know, there's plenty, plenty of goodness in there for the fish and obviously blood worm, it's a natural larder as well. So, you know, the carp find it really attractive. And especially this time of year in the winter, I prefer to fish like the silty areas where the blood worm sort of comes from as well. So, you know, obviously fishing this in the actual natural food larders on the bottom, you know, it's, put the two together it works absolutely perfectly you know and you know even a bucket like this <clears throat> a couple of times this this autumn as well it saved me you know when I've run out of bait it's ideal I keep a couple in my van so if you ever do you know run out of bait and you need to uh, you need a bit of a backup you know it's always there and I fish this purely by itself just fishing a hook bait over the top and you know it didn't interfere with the results that I had from fishing boilies you know the fish just carried on feeding as strongly and uh, you know it kept them in the swim for a very long time even a small bucket like this you know a few spoms over the top of all them food items and particles and the blood worm you know just keeps the fish in the area for a lot longer than say the same amount of boilies would be so I think it's ideal and obviously with the added glug you can see how thick it is there you know that hangs about in the water column for a very long time so the fish just obviously keep coming back for more and more and it's a uh, it's it, you know it's suitable for all, all times of year even in the winter depths of winter through to the summer and the spring you know it's a all year round really nice quality bait and a lot obviously i like as well it's quite dark as well so if there's a lot of bird life on your lake you know you won't have so much of a problem because they just won't waste their time diving down picking up the small grains what's in the mix so it's very ideal 